Hi, it's Meredith again. A couple of weeks ago, I had the amazing opportunity to speak with Mr. William Glenny, a World War II veteran. Mr. Glenny spoke of many memories, including his time as a guard at Nuremberg. Well, I was born in Holyoke, uh, Massachusetts, South Holyoke, and I was born in a French section. I went to a French school, and I learned to speak French. I uh, was drafted in 1945. I just turned 18 years old in September. The war just ended, and my mother and father, naturally, they wanted me to play in a band, go to West Overfield. So, and I said, no, I want to go, I want to go into service, I want to go overseas. And I says, I'm going to really squeak and make a lot of noise and you're going to throw me. It's exactly what I did. Next, next, next. I got aboard the ship and I went overseas and I was happy. Over there, when I get to France, I seen half buildings. Then I seen, oh, geez, this is what war is really like. I was asked to, uh, I was chosen to go to Nuremberg at the Nuremberg trials. The trials were starting up at the time. They were going on. So I wound up at the Nuremberg trials. It was hard to believe that these men were, were murderers like that. You know, they, they committed these atrocities in the, uh, the Holocaust. But as I went in the cell and I seen these men face to face, they're human beings that did this. They're not monsters. I could take any one of these men, put them outside, have them walk with regular public. You wouldn't be able to pick out this man as a murderer. I did come to the conclusion that these men deserve what they got. The trial was necessary, and these men deserve what they got. It, should, it, it took me a few years to figure it out. You know, I said, uh, how could these men live committing all these atrocities? Herman Gorin's conscience seemed to be clear because he denied everything. There's, he says, I didn't know anything about the the, uh, the Holocaust, and, I, and I'm sure Adolf Hitler didn't, he said. But he's wrong, you know, they were wrong. And they lied, they lied, especially Hermann Goering, a brutal man, brutal man. You know, I just think of these men now and then, and it's, it's hard to believe that I, I've seen these men. And how could they do that? You know, it's till this day, it still bothers me. And, I, and then, like I say, as I think of it, thank God, you know, I, I wasn't over there, and I was not a German side, because I, I don't know what my feelings would have been, you know. Uh, and, and if anybody ever says, oh no, I would never do that, that could never happen to me, I would never do No, think again, think again. It could happen to you. It could happen very easily. It took me, it took me a long time to figure that out.